Hi guys, welcome to another Unity tutorial. So in this one we're going to be talking about how to create a draw like this, like a cupboard kind of a thing. Um, this is going to be based on, the, the scripts that I use uh, on this tutorial is going to be based on uh, the part one uh, video tutorial that I did. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, I encourage you to go and watch it first because uh, the scripts that I use uh, is based on that and I'm going to be continuing onwards uh, from the end point of the part one video. I'll put a description, uh, I'll put a link to the to that video on this one's description. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's see how we uh, create this one. Okay, before we start creating the drawers, just let me just go into the interactive object script. And as you can see here, I uh, can't spell trigger <laughs> so uh, let me just quickly show you how to uh, correct this like um, for f in this instance I've only used this in this in two places uh, on there and on here but imagine if you have like lots of scripts and if you accidentally use this in lots of places you can't go one by one and just replace them all so there's an easy way of doing it so if you just uh, select the, the variable name or the method name and just right click ref, uh, refactor and rename and then you can just change the name to whatever you want and MonoDevelop will go through all of your scripts and find the, the incorrect name and uh, change it to the correct name that you want okay so let me just quickly change these two and this one as well Okay, so that's fine. Now let's start uh, creating um, the draw. Actually, okay. Let me just quickly rename the uh, the pivot game object's name uh, to do pivot, so that we know what it is. So let me just uh, move it along to the side, and let's create a cube, which is going to be our like the outer shell of the draw. Um, so yeah, something like this. Let's call this for name, and let's create another cube. Something like this. Okay. All right, and um, this is gonna be like uh, one of the. <coughs> sorry. One of the compartments of the drawer. So let's call this compartment. Okay, and then drag the compartment object into the drawer main. So the drawer main is the parent. The compartment object is the is the child. And let me also create a materials folder. Create a material called mat. Compartment, drag that onto the compartment object and change its color so that we see a bit of a differentiate uh, differentiation between the compartment and the outer shell uh, draw main object um, on game view. Okay, so that's done. Um, one other thing that uh, that um, we may need to do is like uh, as you can remember on the do uh, do creation tutorial. We added a animation component as well as a as well as a box collider component onto this game object. Uh, we we did that manually, um, but we need those two components for the interactive object script to work. Uh, so we can just enforce that. The way you do it is you go to the top of the interactive uh, object script uh, right before the class declaration, and then say require component uh, and then say type of and specify the component you need so when you do that um, if you look at the, the, the compartment game object um, it has a box collider but it doesn't have an animation component so just watch when I add the interactive object 
it should add a animation component to this game object. Let's say if this compartment object doesn't have a box collider either, it's going to add a box collider as well. But in this case, it's only going to add a animation component. Okay. See, right. Now we fa face another issue um, because in the interactive uh, object script. Uh, we are play the playing the animation using the actual animation name. So as you can see, we can only have one um, uh, animation that is called open. I mean, we can't have another animation called open. It doesn't allow us to have the same name for like the uh, like the the assets. Okay. So let me just delete that. Okay. So. There's two ways around it. Like we could just duplicate this, uh, duplicate this object. I'm uh, sorry, duplicate this script, call it something else, um, and use different names uh, to play the animations, and just drag it, uh, drag that object instead of uh, the interactive object onto the drawer compartment. But there's a there's a much more elegant way of doing it, which is using this script and doing something like this. So, if I were to create a string array, I'm called any names, okay, and I'm gonna instantiate it to have um. Now the number, the number of animations that we have um, on the animation component itself. Let me just explain this after I do this. Do the whole thing. Okay, so... Mm, oh, there you go. Let's call this anim actually. In animation. Um, anim names. Index and under names. Um, okay, so what I'm doing is um, I've created a anim names as uh, string array, and I'm populating it with uh, uh, the number of um, animations that we have on the com animation component. So if we take the door, we have two animations uh, on the animation component here. So, uh, in this case, in this interactive object script case, we are populating that string array, this string array, with two names, open and close. So, this is what I'm doing here. So, I'm going through that uh, animations array, which is this one, and uh, copying those names onto the anim name string array. So, why I'm doing it is, when I do that, can just call the indexes of that array instead of actual names which has the actual names in them but uh, now I can use this for uh, for any uh, animation that I need I only have to change uh, the animations according to the actual object itself so let me explain what I'm doing um, on that in a bit uh, one other thing we need to do we need to create a empty game object. Um, parent uh, put that as a child of the drawer main. So the and call this let's say root or something. So root is a child of drawer main. And let me position root to be the center of the compartment object, which is the dark gray object. This object. Okay, so root is at the center, like it doesn't have to be the exact, but like um, roughly center of the dark gray object, which is uh, called compartment, uh, and drag compartment inside root. So the hierarchy should be like this draw main is the parent, and root is the child of draw main, and compartment is the child of root. Okay. I'll explain why I did this uh, later on. You'll see why I did this, but uh, for now, just just follow along, and I'll tell you why I did this later on. Cool. 
now select the compo compartment game object uh, go to the animation window if you don't have this open you can also go to window and click the animation window like this it's going to open it and you can dock it um, ok I'm going to create a new animation uh, let's just call this you can call this whatever you want actually um, ok draw open select only the position right and then set the positions like this uh, let's say minus 3 cool so ok that's fine create a, another one another animation let's call this draw close and again only selecting the position again okay so it goes from here to here closing okay so now if I play this we should work there you go okay cool if you want you can take out the play automatically checkbox as well cool now let me explain why I did this the the root why I added an empty game object in here so if I select the component game object and if I duplicate it like this you can also go into edit and duplicate um, and if I move it down and play the scene the scene is playing now so if I click on the top one it's gonna animate okay but if I click on the bottom one as you can see on the game view here it's gonna snap onto the the position of the top one and then animate there you go why that's happening is because uh, the animation that's on the compartment game object is uh, it is the local position relative to its parent so the animation keys, the, the values on here is relative to its parent. So if, e even if we move this uh, duplicated compartment um, game object downwards, when we run the animation, it's gonna uh, it's gonna place the place the object, the game object, onto that um, local positions, which is relative to the parent object itself. Um, I thought. Um, Okay, uh, so if I just delete this one, and if I duplicate the root itself, and then move that down, and then play it. Now, this should be fine, and this should be fine. I suppose you understand why this is, because this game object's animation curve, which is the same as the top game object's animation curve, but this animation curve is uh, the positions on this animation curve like the the position of um, the z values of this animation is relative to its parent which is this one and this is relative to its parent which is this one so that's why we need uh, the extra game object in here um, okay so i hope that's clear to you guys um, and let's just continue this on the next uh, video